Hey everybody and welcome to today's daily reading with me Adrian Nelson and for today we're using the Good Tarot by Colette Baron Reed. This is a really beautiful deck of cards. It's um, it's still a traditional, well based on a traditional tarot deck but then it's got a bit of a sort of like an oracle twist to it and the focus with this reading or, or with this deck of cards which really appeals to me so strongly is that it is focused on providing you with those good messages, the, the positive messages, the things that are working well for you because I think in my experience and I've been doing this for 20 years now but in my experience when it comes to tarot you know a lot of times people see a lot of negativity in there when it comes to astrology the same oh my goodness this is in retrograde this is squaring that this is whatever you know opposite that that sort of thing um and then sometimes I ask people, do you actually know what that means? And then they don't really, because especially with astrology and tarot, a lot of the information that you see online is just, it's rubbish, really. <laughs> okay, But let's connect in our heart space. If it's safe for you to close your eyes, please do so. If not, let's just connect in our heart space. Take a nice deep breath, welcoming our guides and our guardians and our angels. Opening our hearts, minds and souls to the messages that are available to us today. Taking a nice breath together. Savoring the breath and releasing all resistance. Okay. Also something with this particular deck is that when you do the readings, you know, sometimes we um, cards come up in the upright position or sometimes they're in reverse. In this deck, um, the author, Colette Karen Reed, specifies that all cards are to be read in the upright position. Okay. Um, if you want to know more about cards in reverse and uprights and all those type of things, then you are more than welcome to have a look at in the description. There's a link for my detailed online tarot reading course. Okay, let's see what we have. Spirit guides and guardian angels. What messages would you like to share today with my beautiful soul family? Ooh, with my cosmic cousins. Alrighty. And I'm busy recording Twin Flame love readings for all the different zodiac signs at the moment. Quite excited about it. Okay, there's some cards that came out. This one came out first, then this one came out, and this, I'm going to grab this one over here. Okay, this, this one's calling me. Okay, I'm going to grab that one. Let's see what we have. All right, so we've got the Queen of Air, which is the Queen of Swords. Um, so we're thinking Air Energy here as well, with Swords. Um, air Energy being um, uh, Aquarius, um, you know, that sort of flowing energy. Gemini as well as Libra, all right, and then we've got nine of air, so we're staying with that air quality, and then we also have the justice card, which in itself is the Libra card, so it's air energy, air quality, also there you've got number 11, which is the number of new beginnings, you know, one plus one, a lot of people are speaking about 11, 11, um, Nine is a number of hope and promise, and Queens is about hard work. So for you for today, the message that I'm getting, okay, sorry, everything's a little bit skewed and off-center, yeah, I apologize. Um, so for today's message, because also if you look at this character, it's so beautifully portrayed, there's a sense of higher wisdom coming today. Today, I'd like to encourage you to be open to, to new ideas. A lot of new ideas could be coming to you today, a new, a lot of new aspirations and a lot of sort of almost like, like, um, like light sparks moments, you know. Oh, I can do this. I can do that. That might work. That might work. Today, there's a lot of that sort of energy that I pick up surrounding you. So I would really pay attention to my thoughts today. You know, if there's any sort of noise in the background, I do apologize. It's just such a beautiful day in Cape Town today and it's actually the middle of winter. Um, and you know, it's been very sort of chilly and, and rainy and windy and cold and stuff. But today is quite a beautiful sunny day and like, there's birds doing their thing outside. I don't know if you can hear that. So beautiful. So I opened all my doors and all my windows and everything. I just want to let the light and the life in before I even started this reading. And then I also remember sort of like today's um, Zodiac in any case. Um, I don't exactly wake up in the morning and go and check the Zodiac charts. But, you know, I generally have an idea of what is actually going on for myself and my clients. But um, today I will open myself to to better serving ideas, to higher serving ideas, to bright sparks. Today is a day of um, solutions coming through. So if you've maybe been challenged with something for a while, um, you're looking for the solution, you're looking for the answer, 
um, you're looking for their breakthrough, um, you know, so maybe almost like the inventors back in the day, you've got something together, but there's that one sort of missing link. Today, that missing link is getting filled in that glitch. You, you're finding sort of a solution to, to that glitch. There's a, there, there's a sense of, um, and you can even envision that there's a sense of energy coming in through the universe, you know, into your portal of being, into your consciousness of being, and that obviously comes through, you know, through your crown chakra, and it's perceived through your um, to your third eye and then all the way down, um, you know, the communication then from the third eye, you know, as it's perceived there, it's con um, conceived by your, by your throat chakra, your center of communication. And that is all how you relate to others outwards. But first and foremost, it's about how you relate to yourself. So today, um, there's a really bright spark. And it's those three sort of upper chakras of the main chakras, um, which we call the upper chakras. And then there's the lower ones as well, which is the, um, the base chakra, really, um, or the root chakra, um, the um, solar plexus, as well as the, what is the other one? Oh, well, whatever. You know the other one? <laughs> but then it all meet in the middle with the heart space. And so for today, I feel all of you, you've done a lot of grounding. You've done your groundwork. You've, you've, done, you've put the lock in, you know. Um, and now it's that sort of like spirit kind of coming to the table for you today. Releasing a lot of things that are not serving you well. Thoughts, values, beliefs, um, traditions. Anything really that doesn't serve you well today. It's almost a space of your mind opening, your mind expanding. Um, and when that happens, we sometimes also see the things that we've been holding on to that actually haven't been served us in a positive way and you know it's totally understandable because if you think of the last two years um, give or take a little bit more even things have been so contrived in the world and things have been contrived in the world for years it's just that it's been in such a way that we couldn't really ignore it you know um, lives have been very um, touched very directly touched um, I mean, when I saw a picture of um, Times Square, New York, where there's not a single person in it, it really shook me, you know, it, because, I mean, Times Square is a place where there's, it's always bumpy, it's always busy, even in the middle of the night. So it really sort of shook me to my core when I saw that image a little while ago. And there's a lot of things that have shaken a lot of us to our core in the last, you know, couple of months and sort of two, three years that have passed. Um, and when you look at astrology, you actually get to see the pattern as well. That something like COVID was always going to come around or something else with a similar sort of effect. All right. Um, so whether it's somebody's fault or anything like that, all souls are playing together to or working together to have an outcome. It's almost like if you, for example, come to Earth, um, and this is so beautifully explained. And I think it's the first one of the Conversations with God books by Neil Donald Walsh. But... If you come to forgive, somebody needs to give you something to forgive, you know, and sometimes it seems like things in this world, they happen, they're so, you know, horrible and disgusting and vile and sort of things like that. But sometimes that is the very thing that needs to happen in order for you to actually progress further on your path. But to wrap this up for you, for your message for today. So today is a day of new thoughts coming in, breakthroughs, mind breakthroughs, you know, um, realizations. Oh, we can do with that. Smart breakthroughs, really. Releasing a lot of the sort of the shields of the armor of the things that, you know, that are not necessarily that you don't, you know, that it were bad things. Maybe you needed it before. They were coping mechanisms, whatever, what the way that you were brought up. But these are things that you no longer need. This is almost like you being sort of like the lava instead of the cocoon and everybody and life and like your family and everybody protected you to the best way that I understood. But now you develop and you're coming out of that cocoon and you're stepping into your own. Today is a space of balance coming in through your life. There's a breakthrough realization that I sense coming through for you today and may that serve you in abundantly positive ways and so it is. All right. So that's what I got for you for today. Um, thank you for joining my daily message with me, Adrian Nelson. If you feel that you would need a little bit more information in your life and you would like to have a focus on your own personal energy, then you can also book a personal reading with me. My email address is down below in the description, so please pop me a mail. Um, I'm busy setting up an automated booking system, which I've actually been busy with for a while and I'm just not getting there, so I do apologize for that, but it will be out soon. Because my schedule is actually quite busy, but meanwhile, because I also have, actually I'm waiting on a regression hypnosis client right now. Um, but, um, you know, um, send me a mail, let's find the time together. If you're interested in learning to read the tarot for yourself, there's a link in the description for my detailed online tarot reading course that is presented on the Udemy platform, so you get lifetime access. 
you can click that up there. Thank you so much for all of you making beautiful donations. I really appreciate it. That helps me to do what I love to do, which is to help other people. And if this video resonates with you and you'd like to support my channel, I'd really appreciate you liking the video, commenting, sharing, subscribing, and remember to hit that notification bell if you do subscribe. Apart from that, I hope you have a beautiful day. May wonderful things happen for you today. May, may the, the gods of prosperity just shine upon you. Namaste, love and light. Bye.